Today, I'm gonna to show you how to find items at thrift stores that you can flip online for a profit. Not only that, I came to one of the hardest places that I think there is to do that. Welcome to Charlotte. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes, so I don't have to work no nine to five. The truth is, I've thrifted Charlotte before and I've never had much luck, but she really wants to learn how to do this, so why not go to one of the hardest places there is to thrift? I'm teaching her what I know, I'm taking you along with me, I promise you're gonna learn something or your money back. All right, first stop is actually Rock Hill, South Carolina, a little sub suburb of Charlotte, and we kinda need a plan. Where, What part of the store do you think we need to go into first? Where's your expertise? That's what I usually think about. Where's my expertise? What do I know more about than anything else? Where do you think we should start? Uh, golf clubs or clothes? Golf clubs and clothes. So here's my thinking. You're 12. You're into the uh, trends more than I am. You know a lot more than I do. Why not start at like toys? Stuff that I don't know anything about. Maybe you can teach me something. You need blights here. Yeah, you can definitely identify things better than I can when it comes to toys. But uh, let's try it out. All right, so we started off in the toy section and found two things that may have some value. The cool thing is they're actually both brand new. This is sealed, this is sealed, but we need to look them up on eBay to see if they're actually worth anything. So pretty simple when it comes to a new item like that. You just go to your eBay app, click on the camera, click on the barcode, and it looks like Mickey and Minnie are selling for anywhere from 30 to 35. But that's what they're listed for. There's 21 listed. And only five have sold. And they sold for 49, 20, and 40. They're asking $24.99 for that. So we're gonna pass. The next one is this Bomb Redeemer. They're asking $8.99 for that. We scanned it. Looks like it was on clearance at Target for $17.49. Clone scanned it here, and so there are 135 listed, 48, 49, there's one 23, 24, about actual solds. 135 listed, only 32 have sold, so that's going to be a slow seller. That one sold for 20, that one sold for 19.50, free shipping, 19.50, they want $9, so we're going to put that one back too. Not too much good luck in the toy section. What is another section where it's full of stuff that's expensive? and people have to have them, it's a necessity. What do you think? Clothes. Clothes is a good guess. What's even more expensive than clothes, typically? Shoes. Nailed it. Let's go check out the shoes. When it comes to shoes, I kind of start off looking at brand, and then when I find a good brand, I look at the condition. If both of those are good, then we dig a little deeper. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. Couldn't find any decent shoes on the regular shoe rack because they're all in the case. This pair of Nikes right here going for $19.99. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but they are very dirty. There's another pair of Nikes, $45.99. Seems a little high. Don't think we'll be buying any shoes from here today. So we looked at clothes, we looked at shoes, we looked at toys, and found nothing except Sloan found the cool hat that she can wear to the Clemson games this year. Go Tigers. On the way to another Goodwill, and one important tip that I wanted to share is if you're in a new area, kind of like we are in Charlotte, I'm not real familiar with it, you want to plan a route. It's going to save you time, going to save you some gas, which is going to save you some money. But uh, I'll let this guy explain that to you. So how to find thrift stores in new places. Honestly, my go-to is Google Maps. Basically open the app, type in thrift, and it'll show you all the thrift stores around you. Not only that, you can look at photos, see how far away they are. You can even read reviews if you want to. But if you're a real hardcore planner and maybe you want to get started a day or two ahead of time, well, I've got something else for you. You guys remember MapQuest? Yeah, 1996, America Online dial-up modal MapQuest. They're still around and they actually have a really good route planner. Once you look up the addresses of the stores you want to go to, you can put them in and MapQuest will optimize a route based on your preferences. It's gonna save you time and money. Disclaimer, Google will do the same thing, but I found that MapQuest is actually a little easier and it's also good for garage sales. Yeah. We find stuff. 
My sources say no. Oh no. <laughs> so I mentioned brand and condition. See this butterfly here? That means Alegria, but, and that's a good brand, but the condition on these is not so hot. Definitely some major scuffing here, discoloration. So, got to pass. And shoes here are only $5.99, which is pretty good. So Sloan got in the corner and dug these golf clubs out. They're kids clubs, but kids clubs sell pretty well. These are both USKG pitching wedges, two different versions. The modern USKG stuff sells really good, sells really quick. It's probably $20 a piece. And then this, this is actually an Olimar driver. And unfortunately, they're not priced. So we gotta ask the lady how much they are, but if they're like $2 or less a piece, I think they're gonna be worth it. Like I said, they're gonna sell for about $20 a piece, but they should sell pretty quick. Question for you. No prices. Do you know how much the golf clubs are? A dollar ninety-nine. Dollar ninety-nine a piece. Awesome. Thank now, you. I don't know about this one because it's the, got that case. The kids. It might be a dollar ninety-nine. Okay. Thank you. Thank all of them. Perfect. Thank you so much. So one thing I like to do when it's ninety-five degrees outside in South Carolina is look at jackets because honestly, nobody else is. You wouldn't think to sell jackets in the summertime, but I feel like not many people are buying them. There might be more to find to sell. But unfortunately, I'm not finding anything. So hats can actually be pretty good, and they're cheap usually. So this is actually really good. Goren Bros. You ever heard of that brand? That's actually really, really good, especially for a hat. So we're gonna get that. I don't know how much they're gonna be. I'll throw some comps up on the screen though. It'll surprise you. Here's another one. The Old Course St. Andrews. Actually from St. Andrews because you can see it was 22 pounds originally. So we're going to grab that one too. So we just hit the Lily Pulitzer mother load. I don't think it sells as good as it used to, but we're still going to look it up and see if we can find anything valuable. We'll let you know. So you guys saw the hatch. You guys saw the golf clubs. What you didn't see is, congratulations, Sloan. She has made her first Goodwill purchases to flip online. We found a cartload of Vera Bradley stuff. Not all of it was worth it, just like I suspected, but I think she did pretty good here. There's some decent comps on these, and it's small, lightweight, easy to ship, stuff that she can store in her room, and I think that's a great way to start. So shout out, Sloan, good job. Hope you find a lot more today. So we're kind of in the backwoods, back roads now. Found this positively thrifty. Check it out. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So here's some bobbleheads, and I've done really well with bobbleheads, but they're definitely hit or miss. Unfortunately, I don't have any service in this metal building, so I'm just gonna take some pictures, and when I go outside, I can look them up. So they've got a pair of binoculars in there, and like I said, I didn't have a cell phone service, and I've been, been about five minutes out here looking for these binoculars on eBay, everywhere else, and I cannot find them except for on WorthPoint. And I don't have worth point, but I think I'm gonna take a chance. They want $25 for them, so maybe taking a big chance, but either way, I'll have a cool pair of binoculars. A couple of things here. I did end up getting the binoculars. I actually got them for $20. They were having some kind of sale. But this is a pair of US Navy binoculars from 1940. So definitely pretty cool, but not necessarily valuable. And that's why I mentioned WorthPoint. If you don't know, WorthPoint is basically a database that goes all the way back to like 2006 of eBay sales and also other different auctions. You can use it to look up stuff that you can't look up on eBay. Now, unfortunately, it is subscription based, but they do offer a seven day free trial if you've got that one item that you just have to be able to look up. I did sign up for a free trial myself and found out that the last time these exact ones sold, they sold in 2009 for $61. And unfortunately, that's not a lot of data to go on to base a good price on them. So I'm gonna do some research. Another cool tool that you may not have heard of is Therapy. And if you've got an eBay store, that's basically the research tab at the top of your screen. While eBay will only show you sales data for 90 days, Terapeet will give you data for 365. It's actually very useful and it's included with your eBay store subscription. This is also a good time for another tip and that's to manage your expectations. And honestly, I'm not real good at that. We've all watched videos on YouTube where resellers find valuable items at every single thrift store they go to, but that's not reality. You can't expect that. When we left that binoculars place, Sloan and I went to like four different stores and didn't find anything, not a single thing. We were met with high prices, bad inventory, and honestly, it's kind of depressing. Sloan, did we find anything? 
but once again, that's the reality of it. The main thing is to remain optimistic. Don't give up because you never know what you might find. Hey, here you go. See? Ooh, those are in decent condition. Ultra is a good brand. And I think shoes are only $5.99. So I found the Ultras. It's a good brand to look at for. They're going to be six dollars, and looks like they sell for around forty-five, fifty somewhere in there. There's three listed, three sold. Pretty good. Dad clothing half price. All right, so you got a decision to make. They've got a camera in the case of there. It's a Canon camera. It's brand new in the package. It's a 35 millimeter point shoot camera. There's 14 listed, 11 sold. None of those are new. But the ones that are selling are selling for like 30 or 40 bucks. They want 25 for that one. New in the package. I'm thinking it should go for 80, 90 maybe. Mm -hmm. Think we'll grab it? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of a rough day, so we got to get something, right? Yeah. Right. Can we get something? This camera down here. Yes, ma'am. Canon Sure Shot 105U date, brand new in the package. You guys saw the comp 14 listed, 12 have sold, but none of those were new. So I looked on Terapeak, couldn't find one there. Looked on Worth Point, nothing there either. So now it's your turn to give me some advice. What do you think this thing is worth? What should I list it at? I've currently got it listed for a really high price, a price that eBay says is actually pretty good. But let me know, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think this thing is actually worth. And that was actually the last thing that we bought in Charlotte. Didn't get a whole lot, but we did have a good time. And that brings us to another point. Make sure you stop and smell the roses, do some exploring, especially in a new town. You wanna to have some fun. I told Sloan to pick out one thing that she wanted to do, anything in the world. She picked out Ikea. So we walked around in Ikea for a little bit. I think she had a blast. She got a cool new accessory, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.